In 1962, the United States and the Soviet Union are in a state of high tension, with rumors circulating that the Soviets are planning to drop an atomic bomb. As a result, many American citizens, including Dr. Calvin, are building bomb shelters in their backyards to prepare for the worst. Calvin's bunker is stocked with supplies to last for several years, and he and his pregnant wife Helen even host a party at their home. However, when President Kennedy announces a secret mission against the Soviet Union on live television, Calvin becomes alarmed and assumes that a war is imminent. He quickly kicks out the guests and takes Helen into the bunker, just as an aircraft flying overhead suddenly experiences a mechanical failure and crashes into their house, completely destroying it. Calvin, still under the assumption that the war has started, seals the bunker door, which he believes will automatically open after 35 years, when the nuclear particles in the atmosphere have returned to normal levels. The authorities arrived promptly to examine the wreckage from the accident. Finding no signs of life, they assumed that Calvin and Helen had perished in the crash. As time passed, Calvin adjusted to their new surroundings, while Helen found it difficult to adapt. Eventually, Helen went into labor, and with Calvin's assistance, she gave birth to a beautiful baby boy named Adam. Over the years, Adam grew into a bright and inquisitive child as the family established a routine in their underground home. They engaged in activities like pretend shopping, fake fishing, tending to plants, and expanding their living space. Calvin imparted his knowledge to Adam, emphasizing the importance of rebuilding the country's former glory. In addition to traditional subjects, Calvin taught Adam boxing, French, Latin, and stock market principles, while Helen instructed him in household chores and dance. Calvin also gifts Adam his collection of baseball cards and tries to explain sports to him, but Adam has some trouble imagining so many people. The family cultivated a warm and nurturing environment for Adam, fostering good manners and a sheltered upbringing. They enjoyed leisure time together in their lounge area. Meanwhile, their former home above ground underwent various transformations, serving as a diner, pizzeria, and nightclub over the years. In 1995, Adam celebrates his 33rd birthday and receives handmade gifts from his parents. During the candle blowing, he wishes to eventually find the perfect partner. Helen notes the dwindling time left with only two years to go, while Calvin expresses his attachment to their current place, prompting Helen to retreat to another room in frustration. In 1997, the 35 years finally pass and the door opens automatically. The family eagerly prepares to leave, but Calvin pauses to conduct a swift safety check. After donning a radiation suit, he descends in the elevator and emerges in an abandoned building now inhabited by inebriated beggars. Melka faints in shock at the sight of a luminous figure rising from the ground. Calvin exits the building and is astounded by the drastic changes in the outside world. Graffiti covers the surroundings, people casually wield guns, adult stores display off-putting merchandise, and unfamiliar individuals speak unintelligibly. Overwhelmed, Calvin hurries back to the bunker and warns his family that the neighborhood remains a post-apocalyptic wasteland filled with peculiar mutants, ultimately concluding they should remain in the bunker. Helen reaches her breaking point, expressing her frustration at being confined and emphasizing the importance of Adam connecting with nature. Despite Helen's pleas, Calvin stands firm on his decision, leading to a heated argument that triggers a heart attack for Calvin. As Calvin is indisposed and supplies are running low, Helen entrusts Adam with a crucial task, to procure sufficient provisions for two years. She provides him with some cash and a list of essentials, instructing him to take up temporary residence at the Holiday Inn and to be vigilant for a young woman untouched by the mutation. Before Adam embarks on his mission, Calvin advises him to steer clear of the adult video store due to its hazardous radiation levels. Once he has prepared, Adam ventures outside and discovers that Melka has erected a shrine around the elevator, venerating Calvin's family as divine beings. Adam is overjoyed to behold the wonders of the world for the first time, the breathtaking sky, towering buildings, lush trees, and diverse people, who regard him as an oddity. His excitement gets the better of him, and he enthusiastically greets every person he encounters, accidentally using an offensive term to address a black woman due to his exuberance. Adam then approaches the adult video store with caution, covering his nose and warning others to do the same. After boarding the bus, he feels intimidated by the vehicle's movement and struggles to communicate with fellow passengers using antiquated phrases, leading them to view him as a peculiar individual. Undeterred, Adam presses onto the grocery store, diligently collecting all the items on the list. Adam was confused when the butcher mentioned delivering his order to his house, as he didn't know how to get back to the bunker. In a panic, he rushed out of the store and spent the day taking different buses in search of the bunker, but to no avail. He was also running low on cash, so he decided to sell his father's baseball cards at a hobby shop. The shop owner offered to buy the entire pack for $500, but before Adam could accept, 
the shop's assistant, Eve, intervened and informed Adam that each card was worth between $4,000 and $6,000. Eve quit her job on the spot and Adam was impressed by her integrity and began to develop a crush. He asked Eve to take him to the Holiday Inn, but she initially refused and tried to run away. However, she soon changed her mind when Adam offered to pay her with two baseball cards. During the ride, Adam chose old songs on the radio, which he found strange. As soon as they arrived at the hotel, Eve left without a word. Adam went to his room and was amazed by the view from the 18th floor. He then enjoyed watching television in color. He ensures to wake up early in order to witness the sunrise. The following day, Eve returns the cards to Adam at the hotel out of guilt for receiving too much payment for a simple task. After attempting to leave, Adam offers to pay her to work as his assistant in gathering supplies for the bunker. Agreeing to the offer, Eve and Adam shop together for enough provisions to last two years, arranging for the hire of multiple trucks. Adam surprises Eve by expressing his desire to find a wife. Following their shopping trip, Eve introduces Adam to her roommate Troy at her home. Troy, intrigued by Adam's reaction to modern technology, quizzes him about his background, to which Adam fabricates a story about being from Alaska on a business trip. Meanwhile, Helen becomes suspicious and retreats upon encountering Melka and his friends behaving strangely. The next day, Troy decides to give Adam a fashion makeover, resulting in a more attractive appearance. In the ensuing days, Eve and Troy expose Adam to various new experiences, such as modern dancing, skateboarding, and ocean views. Adam's enthusiasm leads him to impulsively jump into the water and enjoy a baseball game, finally understanding his father's passion for it. During a rainfall, Adam stands in awe of the natural phenomenon. When Eve approaches him, Adam embraces her, likening the moment to a miracle his father would appreciate. In the evening, Eve and Troy take Adam to a retro swing club in search of a potential partner. Adam's kind demeanor, respectful attitude, and handsome appearance immediately attract the attention of the women in the club. Eve's rival catches his eye and they hit it off, making Eve feel jealous. She pulls Adam aside and tells him that she wants a sweet and respectable woman in his life, not someone promiscuous. Adam then asks another girl to dance and impresses everyone with his exceptional dancing skills. Eve's jealousy intensifies, and her ex-boyfriend teases Adam and challenges him to a fight. However, Adam uses his boxing skills to quickly defuse the situation. Afterward, Eve leaves the club alone, feeling irritated by the drama. When Troy arrives, he informs her that Adam left the club with her rival, causing Eve to realize she has feelings for Adam and rush out to find him. She gets in her car, but is startled by a knock on the window and falls to the ground. It's Adam, who takes her inside and tends to her scratch while confessing that he couldn't stop thinking about Eve and had to turn down the other girls. Adam reveals his feelings for Eve, and they share a kiss. Now that they are together, Adam decides to open up to Eve about his family and home, including the fact that he wants to marry her so she can live with him in the bunker. However, Eve thinks Adam is actually crazy and has been hiding it well, and she kick him out. The following day, Troy shows Adam around town and gives him driving lessons. Suddenly, Adam spots the adult video store again and follows the road until he locates the building situated above his bunker, where Melka has established a whole religion centered around the elevator. Excited by this discovery, Adam hurries back to Eve to share the news, only to be confronted by two psychiatrists. Initially pretending to cooperate, Adam seizes an opportunity to flee as one doctor gives chase while the other attempts to contact the police. Before any further action is taken, Eve intervenes, realizing the mistake. In a moment of haste, Adam hands over his hotel key to Eve for payment and makes his escape in a rented truck, inadvertently colliding with the doctor's car. Later, Eve and Troy arrive at Adam's hotel room and uncover a collection of vintage items from the 60s, including stock certificates belonging to Calvin and now valued at millions of dollars, confirming Adam's honesty. Meanwhile, Adam reunites with his parents in the bunker after a two-week absence, sharing his positive experiences from the outside world and assisting with supplies being loaded by Melka and his companions. Concerned about Adam's whereabouts, Eve and Troy venture to the adult video store and begin searching the floor, hoping to find a clue leading to the bunker. Obviously they find nothing and decide to leave, as they exit, they notice Adam approaching the adjacent structure. Eve hastens to embrace and kiss him, and Adam extends an invitation for her to meet his parents. Calvin and Helen are quite fond of Eve, and they share a meal together. Calvin also takes the opportunity to educate Adam about the facts of life. However, before making any long-term plans, Adam requests that his parents wait for two months. Over the ensuing weeks, Adam and Eve collaborate to sell Calvin stocks and construct a new countryside home that closely resembles Adam's previous residence. Melka lends a hand after tidying up and abandoning his drinking habit. Once everything is ready, Adam brings his parents to the house, 
gradually introducing them to the new world. While Helen and Eve prepare dinner, Adam finally reveals to Calvin that there was no atomic war, that the bomb was actually a plane that crashed into their house, and that the Soviet Union collapsed. Calvin is skeptical and begins planning to build a new bunker as a precaution. Please like and subscribe for more video like this. Thanks for watching.